word out of him. He said, uh, I said, how are you doing? He said, we need ventilators. The UK needs ventilators. A lot of countries need ventilators badly. It's a tough thing to make. It's a very complicated and expensive piece of equipment. Uh, I would say more so than a car. You're talking about uh, expensive, complicated equipment. So I hope we uh, soon will have enough that we can help other countries with ventilators. A lot of countries need them. In the next 100 days, America will make or acquire three times more ventilators than we do in an entire year. We are so geared up at Boeing, Ford, Honeywell, 3M, Haynes, and other great American companies. Factory floors and manufacturing lines are being converted to produce the respirators, protective masks, face shields, and other vital equipment. And those companies have been amazing. And Boeing is giving us their cargo moving planes in the biggest cargo movers anywhere in the world, and we're going to be using them to ship certain types of equipment to various states. Hundreds of millions of Americans are also making tremendous sacrifices on the home front in a historic drive to support our great workers and businesses. I signed into law the single largest economic relief package in American history. You saw that yesterday. The 2.2 trillion, and think of that, 2.2 trillion, but it goes to 6.2 trillion, depending on what we decide. This legislation delivers job retention loans for small businesses to help them keep workers on payroll, expanded unemployment benefits, and direct cash payments to American citizens. And these are very substantial payments. A family of four will be getting approximately $3,400. This legislation also provides massive increases in funding for hospitals who need it, for disaster relief fund and critical life-saving medical supplies. We're spending a tremendous amount of money on medical supplies. We're trying to get it to the point needed directly as opposed to our supply lines so it can go directly to where they need it without having to go through a long process. I don't want to say bureaucratic, but we have not. This group of people has worked so incredibly hard and the energy and the speed with which they're delivering everything has been really admired by everybody. Everybody's talking about it, the job they're doing. My administration has also taken action to suspend and suspend federal student loan payments. So we're suspending and that means suspending in every sense of the word student loan payments so that the students that are not able to take advantage of what's going on, obviously, for obvious reasons, they will be the payments suspended. We've temporarily stopped federal evictions and foreclosures. We postponed tax day until July, which is a big thing. First time that's happened and waived regulations to speed new treatments to the market. And we have new treatments coming on rapidly. Uh, we're doing very well, we think, with vaccines, and we're doing very, very well with hopefully or potentially cures. We're looking at a lot of different alternatives, a lot of different medicines. That would be game changer. The battle in which we're now engaged has inflicted many hardships on our nation and our families.